Hello everyone, and welcome to Slime Rancher. So I have played this game before, but I think it is just the most adorable thing that has ever happened. Uh, so I thought that maybe we could play it together. Isn't that cute? So because I'm not going to hit continue and continue my game that I've spent an embarrassing amount of hours in, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's make a new game. Okay, I think our game name should be Rubbish Slimes. Seems fitting. And because Rubbish Cat, let's make it a cat. I think Adventure Casual Rush. Nah, let's do Adventure. Let's... Let's have a freaking adventure. Isn't this game just so fucking delightful? Okay. So this is what's happening. God, they're so cute. I just want to squish them so much. So Slime Rancher is sort of a farming game where you honestly you vacuum up poop, which seems like a lot, but it's really, really fun and cute. And you vacuum up poop, and then, oh, cutscene. I'll tell you more about the poop when it finishes. I'll read it, whatever. 1,000 light years away from Earth, on a planet known as the Far Far Range, Beatrix LeBeau begins her first day as a slime rancher. The tutorials are even cute, so we're off to a good start. Okay, let's get moving. Whee! Look at that. There are some carrots sitting there. What should I do with those? I'm gonna suck them up into my vac pack. Now it is a farming game, right? So what you've got going on here with this tube, what's wiggling around, is the vac pack and you can suck up different uh, materials. Uh, poop, vegetables, chickens, slimes. We'll see. We'll see what's good. Ooh. Okay, so hop to it. Spacebar, jump, hold, shift, sprint. And who is that? There's a poop, also called Plorts. And there's a pink slime. I have now sucked the pink slime into my vac. Please hold the suck jokes. Just kidding. You don't have to. You can, you can say them. Okay, this is a thing called the range exchange, but we are not going to do that until later because I don't think we can. But okay, I have vacked a slime. Oh my gosh, there's another one. You know what? I'm going to go on a little hunt, and I am going to find all of these pink slimes. <gasps> there you are. Come here. Okay. Yes, I have vacked a slime. I have four of them now. And this says, shoot slimes through a coral bar a corral barrier. Oh my god, every YouTuber I've ever seen has made that same mistake. And I am no different. So cool. Oh no. <laughs> oh, I did a dumb. I shot a carrot. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to change it to pink slimes, and I'm going to shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Aww, look at my little beans. They're so good. Okay, tasty food acquired. I think I am gonna go ahead and shoot carrots. And look, when you feed them, they poop. And then you scoop up their poop. And I'm not saying that's the entire game, but it's most of it. So here we go. Now I have acquired four plorts, or that's what poops are called in this universe. <gasps> Ooh, I see chickens. Look, shoop, shoop. I have acquired a chickadoo and a hen hen. Oh, I see another chickadoo over here. Woo. Uh, there are other things you can make in here. It doesn't always just have to be slime corrals. You can make chicken coops and some other stuff too. So I think we will be making a chicken coop pretty shortly to help manage life on the ranch. Oh, I love, ooh, I love other features of this game. We're gonna talk about it. Okay, so here we are at the plort market. Shoot a plort into the plort market and earn some cash. Doing it right now. Look at that. I did the thing, I got some cash. Okay. That covers the basics. It's time to get out there and explore. Remember, the best way to become a pro rancher is to experiment. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. And we have received in the bottom right corner some star mail from Casey. What is this up in here? Oh, this is Slimepedia. Okay. Good, 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 good. Slimepedia. Love it. Okay. Well, we got some star mail, and I think we may be able to see what that's all about in here. 
So this is us. I mean, like, look how fucking cute we are. Look at her little face. She's so adorable. And she's got a pink slime plushie on her bed. And I'm not saying that me and my husband don't own a pink slime plushie. Because that would be false. We definitely, definitely do. I also have a puddle slime plushie. And it's just, I just, oh, we'll meet the puddle slime soon, I'm sure. But here we go. Rise and shine. Oh, you know what? I'm going to read this one first. Welcome to the Far Far Range from the 7Z Corporation. Ms. LeBeau, the 7Z Corporation would like to welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome. Nice. And extend our support in your bold new venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. Lastly, you should should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. 7Z Corporation, providing the tools you need to get the job done for us for a small fee. That seems correct. Yeah, we can buy stuff, but I don't know if we're going to do that because I definitely want to put these chickens somewhere safe. Rise and shine, Casey. Hi, Bea, 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 B. I think it's probably B. Hi, B. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. Why can't you imagine what it's like to dream? Oh, no, no, no. Just kidding. To sleep for a whole year. I'm dumb. 7Z puts you in a pod and then lights out for all that time. Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave it to you and just keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you. Casey. Aw, just cute. <laughs> okay, well, it's like noon. Let's keep exploring. Oh god, this game is so cute. Okay. These plots are what I'm talking about. They don't just have to be corrals. You can activate them and you can turn them into any number of things. So you could have a, car a corral, a garden, where you could grow food instead of having to go out and look for it. You could have a coop for your chickens. You could have a silo so you can store stuff. An incinerator so you can burn stuff you don't need. Or a pond. <gasps> There's a puddle slime. Do you see it? It's so cute. Um, we'll go with a coop for now. Oh, crap. Although, I gotta be real strategic about where I want to put this. Do I want to put this right here? I don't think that I do. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a coop because we do have the money. Look, we have 300 coins and it costs 250. I, I do know that we have the money, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it right here because I don't know if... I don't know how I want to do stuff, you know? Okay, so we're gonna purchase a coop. And now... We can put our hen hen and two chickadoos in there. So the chickadoos will grow up to be other chickens. But the one thing we always do need in a chicken coop is a rooster. Because that's how uh... a long pause while I try to think of anything else but how babies are made. But like, nah, that is what I'm trying to communicate to you. So yeah, that's um... the chicken and rooster are gonna how you say fuck. I hate myself. <laughs> oh, I hate myself so much. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so you can buy shit as well. You can buy water tank, jetpack, heart module, power core, tank booster. These things all do different things. You can store water in your vacuum backpack. Backpack? I'm sure we're all following at this point. A jetpack, which allows you to whoosh around. Heart module, more health, power core. You, um... You don't have to, like, rest for as long. You're, you can do things for longer. And your tank booster, you can have more things in your tank. And the tank are those sort of four units there that you can see. Oh. Okay, so the range exchange is still offline. And over here, what's through this door? Oh. <laughs> we can't go through that door because this is a ranch expansion called the Overgrowth. And we can purchase it for $17.95. So we need to save up. And I think the only way we're really going to be able to get money to do what we want to do is actually to go explore the far, far range. So here we go. We have now discovered the dry reef and we've left our ranch. Look at them. Look at all the little friends. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is suck up a bunch of carrots because why wouldn't I? And look, there's more pink slimes. And, more importantly, more pink slime plorts for us to sell. 
So I think I want to have... Oh, I got a pogo fruit too. Awesome. Oh, I realize what I've done now. Shit. Okay. Oh god, no, I don't want all of you. I'm sorry. Okay, so... Do -do 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 okay. I have a pogo fruit, I have some carrots, I have some poop, and I have some slimes. I think I see some more pogo fruits over here. So I'm gonna get one more at least. Ooh, there's a tree up there. So they grow up pretty high. And now I'm going to take all of this back to my ranch. And then I'm gonna shoot those slimes into this. So then I have 10 pink slimes on my ranch. They're so cute. I love them so much. Okay, and you can customize your corrals too. Like you can go in here and you can have high walls or a music box. This pretty much keeps them from jumping out. Uh, music box, which soothes them and it produces the cutest pseudo music, I guess, that I've ever heard in my entire fucking life. And then there's an air net where uh, if you've got ones maybe that fly, you can cover the top of your corral. Uh, solar shield for ones that are light sensitive. You can collect the poop so you don't have to go in there and do it yourself, which is really, really helpful. And then you also have an auto feeder, so you can just basically deposit a bunch of food in there and it'll feed your slimes. Or you can demolish the plot. We are definitely not gonna demolish the plot. I think since I have 10 carrots and 10 slimes, everybody's gonna have a little snack. Look at that, so much good poop. I can't believe I just said so much good poop. Great. Sometimes you vacuum up slimes when you're trying to vacuum up poop, but you know, it happens. Okay, so the slimes are gonna go back in here. Oh no, one of them got loose. Come back here. Okay, there we go. All right, now they're all back in there. Oh, one more poop, one more poop. Yeah, one more poop. Okay. Now I'm gonna take some poop to the poop place. And you can hold down the mouse button to get it all in there. Okay, we have 221. That's great. We almost have enough to make like a garden or something to grow some fruits or veg. And because I don't really have a good place to put the pogo fruits just yet, I think I'm going to keep them with me. Ooh, look how many there are. Ooh. Okay, I mean, I accidentally sucked up some slimes, but who cares? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's continue on and see if we can find anything else good. I mean, definitely plorts. We always want to pick up plorts where we can see them. And I don't think I necessarily want to pick up those uh, chickadoos just yet, because I have two chickadoos, and I think I want a roostro so we can... So they can... Do what they're gonna do! <laughs> this is going great. I'm already demonetized. Um, cool. Do, 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 Ooh, another chicken. Yes, please. Don't mind if I do. Because the more the more chickens you have, the more they uh I'll stop talking. It's fine. Just, you know, typical day on the far far range. Vacuuming up shit. Okay, well, we've gone a little bit ex Exploring. We're going a little bit more exploring over here. <gasps> Who dis? Oh my god, it's a tabby slime. Okay, so these ones are basically little cats. Oh my god, they're so good. Look how good. Okay, there we go. So now I've got three of those, and I can't wait to see how valuable their poop is. Yeah, I've, like this is pretty much the entire game, just me talking about poop a lot. So that's fun and cool. Oh no, I can't pick up the poop. Oh, and I should mention, you see how these are pink tabbies and you're like, what? Tabbies are gray. See, there we go. Largo slimes are large slime hybrids formed when a slime eats a plort unlike its own. So it says vac them to keep them on your nozzle or shoot to send them flying. And guess what the fuck I'm gonna do? What? There it goes <laughs> off into the distance. Ooh, there's more tabbies. I'm gonna collect a few to take back to my ranch. Okay, I have six now. And I know that it said maybe we shouldn't be exploring at night, and I would agree if I hadn't played this game before, but I know what I'm doing, so. I decree that it is fine. I, get out of here, which bad self. I'm just looking for poo. Oh no! Oh, we've hit capacity. Okay, you know what? Fuck it, it's time to go back. Mm, 
Yep, some more of these. And then it's time to go back to the ranch. Okay. Here I go, here I go. And yeah, I know a lot of this game right now is walking around doing various stuff and things, but there are ways to make that easier. And unfortunately first, you kind of got to farm a lot. And I hope to keep you entertained while we do said farming. Let's, you know, let's see how it goes. So the reason I have a chicken is because I want to deposit it into the coop. The reason I have the pink plorts is because I want to sell them. And I want to make another corral for my slimes because I super, super, super want to put these cute little tabby slimes all up in my ranch. Corral costs $2.50. Excellent. That means I have enough. And look at how cute they are. Oh, they're so good. There's also mods that you can do to them as well, which I think are really cute, but we'll explore that later. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! They're multiplying! Did you see that? We had two chickadees in here earlier, and now we have like a buttload of chickens. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay. Well, this cat got out. Nope. Okay, we are immediately going to have an issue with tabby slimes being able to jump out of here because apparently they can jump really freaking high. So that doesn't help anything. Oh my god, I can't deal with this right now. Oh my god, stop doing this. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I just gotta get a couple more poops to stop them from jumping out of here. Oh my god. Okay. Because this could potentially turn out to be a disaster if I screw this up, so... Somebody eat something! Oh my god, these damn cats. You know what? It's not their time yet. I gotta keep them in my, uh... Oh no! I gotta keep them in my backpack because they are causing some trouble! Look at these little bastards. They're just like, ooh, we want to be a part of everything. And I'm like, no, stay, stay where I put you. Okay. Oh, come on, we are so close. We are so, 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 so close. Oh my God, speaking of poo, I'm reasonably certain that my cat just pooped. Okay, because those guys don't jump. They're not really an issue, but oh my goodness, these, Yes! Okay, I definitely have enough, surely, to make something with high walls. Yes? No? Maybe so? Son of a bitch! Oh, I need 350 and I only have... 320 or whatever? Okay, I gotta get out here and find some more poop. Oh my goodness! Oh! Oh! Look at that! Who are you? A phosphor slime, the softly glowing heralds of starlight. So what a phosphor slime is, is one of those light sensitive slimes we were talking about earlier. The reason they have to have uh, some, some precautions against light with the corrals is because phosphor slimes are very, very sensitive to sunlight, which like, yeah, obviously is super, super adorable but also at this point hella expensive because we already got to have something to stop those cats from jumping out of the damn cage so okay we've got a couple more poops and hopefully we can do something about this oh I love the phosphor slime so much so basically you bring them home you feed them stuff you sell the poop and you make some money but there's other stuff we can do in the game as well and we'll hopefully get there at some point soon. Ah, all right, we definitely have enough to make these have high walls. Yes, and then the air net is our next thought, a for force barrier that comes over the top of a corral. But at least for the time being, we know that they are not gonna do me dirty by escaping from where I'm keeping them. Okay, and we even have another poop, so that's great. Selling some poops. Okay, and now that we continue on, I can't leave the phosphor slime on its own because it is light sensitive and it will legitimately just kind of, unfortunately, burn up during the daytime. So 
I can't leave it on its own right now. And what I'm gonna do is just continue on through here looking for stuff. Oh no, I've already been down there. Who needs to go where we've already been? I'm basically just gonna collect like a bunch of poop. That's the plan. So far, we've only seen pink poop and maybe a little bit of tabby poop that I couldn't quite pick up. But let's continue on and see what's down here. Actually, I think we might call it quits. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep watching if you want to learn what's beyond this reach. Maybe we'll discover a new type of slime next time. Uh, but if you don't feel like watching, I don't know. Don't. I'm not your mom. Have a great day wherever you are. And I will see you in the next episode. Live your dreams.